Hey, I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides and this is Effling in Holland. The entrance building to Effling looks like something designed by the Vulcans from Star Trek. As far as theme parks go, this is probably one of the best theme parks in... Oh, there's a bee. The bee, you see it? Go away. Is it gone? Or is it in my hair? It's still behind me, isn't it? Yes, there it is. They don't necessarily have any gigantic thrill rides, but what they do have are all really, really fun. The first ride we did was Fliegende Hollander, which is probably one of the best themed boat slash roller coaster slash dark rides in the world. If you're a fan of roller coasters and you come to Effling, don't miss the Vogel Rock roller coaster. It's easy to miss because how would you know that in that bird behind me is a pretty good indoor roller coaster? Vogel Rock translates to the skirt of the bird. And so the theming is that you're holding on to the skirt of a bird as it's flying through the darkness. Anyways, it's really fun. And I think it was the very first roller coaster ever that had an onboard soundtrack. Can anybody confirm that? Doris in der Track, which translates to George and the Dragon, is an awesome dual-tracked wooden coaster that, despite its low height, is still really thrilling. The trains race each other to the finish, and there's a celebration for the winners when they roll back into the station. Also, there's a huge fire-breathing dragon entwined with the track, and I just want to mention, Effling had a fire-breathing dragon several years before Diagon Alley at Universal Studios in Orlando. It's lunchtime, and as you can see from the food on our plate, we've got like a fried cheese calzone, We've got French fries and we have a fried <laughs> sausage. People in this country like to eat fried stuff. Mm. I'm trying to eat kind of healthy for lunch and that's why I, I'm having this. Which is like a caramel chocolate frappe. Not quite as interesting as the roller coaster restaurant in Hamburg or at Europa Park, but yet still interesting is the buy your food from a machine machine. So this is kind of how you structure your day in Effling. You go in, and then you walk 20 minutes to get to one ride, and then you ride that ride, and then you walk another 20 minutes to get to the next ride, and then you ride that ride, and then you walk another 20 minutes to get to the next ride. But in between, there's lots of pretty flowers and gardens. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy. gonna be cool in here but it's kind of crazy. 
creepy actually. Probably the most popular ride in the park and the ride that Effling is the most famous for is called Tumflucht. And as you can see from the wait time, like I said, it's probably the most popular ride in the park, but it's something you really can't miss if you come to Effling. And I made a whole on-ride video of it. If you want to see that, click the link here or in the description below. Another surprising cool thing you have to do when you come to Effling is try out these special um, trash cans. They suck the trash right out of your hand. These are the little things that make Effling so special. We've been waiting in the line for the Rapids ride for about 20 minutes now and they just keep playing the same music loop over and over and over again. So we're gonna do what you always do in that situation and that is dance. As if the day needed to get any better, we just found a churro stand where you can put as much cinnamon and sugar on as you want. Sorry, your day probably sucks compared to that. I'm just saying. I think the only thing you could do to improve on the concept of a churro is to somehow find a way to fill it with margarita. Apparently there's a new ride vehicle being tested here on Fata Morgana. I hope we get to ride it. One thing I really wanted to show you that I didn't get a chance to is there's a donkey here that spits money out of its ass. And we just got so tied up in trying to ride all the rides that now the park is closed and we're on our way to see the final water show. And I just didn't get to show it to you. It doesn't do me any good to talk about it. But if you come to Effling, look for it. There's actually a ton of really cool things for little kids to do here that we just didn't get a chance to see because we spent most of our time on the big rides. But if you have little kids, Effling is a great place to go with them. So I walk and I keep on walking Though the shoes I wear are a mess I walk, And that was our day at Effling in Holland. I hope you liked the video. If you're planning a trip to Effling, uh, let me know and I'll see if I can give you some more tips. And make sure to like this video. Check me out on Facebook uh, at Morgan's Very Unofficial Travel Guides and on Twitter at Mr. Morgan O'Brien. And I will see you at the end of next week with another cool travel video. See you later. More magic bubbles. <laughs>